Hi guys Mr. New Mobile here. iPhone 12 launch event leaks. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. This news comes from 2020's breakout Apple insider John Prosser, who states the iPhone 12 launch event may be as much as a month late, with pre-orders and shipping delayed for iPhone 12 Pro models until November. Apple admits the iPhone 12 release is running late, but it now looks like the wait will be longer than the company suggested. If correct, and Prosser has a 100% release record this year, it would expose Apple CFO Luca Mestri's recent comments that the new iPhones are running a few weeks later than usual is overly optimistic. Apple's iPhone 12 release has another serious roadblock, which could hit sales by up to 30%. Speaking to reporters on Friday. Apple has announced, opened pre-orders and shipped 14 of its last 15 iPhones in September, and pre-orders have historically opened a week before the phones go on sale. In no scenario does a few weeks later translate to shipment sometime in November. Except maybe one. Prompt, newly renamed, iPhone 12 Plus, will begin in mid-October, pre-orders week 42, shipping week 43. Consequently, Mestri may have been attempting to ease concerns by referring to only half the new range. Though he hasn't offered any alternative dates as yet. Speaking to me, Prosser also confirmed they are 100% what's in the system right now, something he states he has seen with his own eyes. So, unless this is an elaborate Apple trap to catch Prosser's sources, it looks like iPhone fans are in for a longer wait than they expected. But will the iPhone 12 range be worth the wait? Perhaps. While well, upgraders can look forward to new display sizes, including a 5.4-inch iPhone 12 and 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max, a multi-generational performance leap, impressive new styling, competitive pricing and 3D mapping camera tech on the Pro models, there are concerns. The biggest potential deal-breaker is their surprisingly small batteries, while their high refresh rate displays have been canned display technology regardless of price, and a 120Hz ProMotion refresh rate could be included in some of the higher-end models, though that's not guaranteed due to battery life constraints, battery life constraints, and Apple could wait until 2021 to add the feature. 5.4 inches, the 2020 iPhone 12 will be the smallest iPhone Apple has released since the 4.7-inch iPhone SE. At 6.7 inches, the 2020 iPhone 12 Pro will be Apple's largest iPhone to date, which is the 6.5-inch iPhone 11 Pro Max. The two 6.1-inch models will be similar in size to the existing iPhone 11. Design-wise, rumors suggest the new iPhones coming in 2020 will feature a significant redesign with a metal frame that's similar to the frame of the iPhone 4 or the iPad Pro. The iPhone 4 had a distinctive flat look for its stainless steel frame, which could be replicated in the new iPhones, bringing the design in line with the 2020 iPad Pro models. There will be a new TrueDepth camera system that cuts down on the size of the notch on the front, though not all iPhones may feature a smaller notch, and there are rumors of a 3D triple lens rear camera system that uses a laser to calculate depth information for objects in the room, improving both photography and Arkansas capabilities. This is like... This is likely to be similar to the lighter scanner in the 2020 iPad Pro, and it will be limited to the higher-end iPhone models. 2020 will be the first year that Apple introduces 5G support in the iPhone, allowing the new devices to connect to 5G networks that are much faster than 4G LTE networks. According to rumors, all of the iPhones in the iPhone 12 lineup will feature 5G connectivity, though it's not yet clear if all iPhone 12 models will have super-fast wave support in all countries, as some countries have not implemented wave technology. The iPhone 12 models coming in 2020 would use an Apple-designed 5 nanometer A14 chip manufactured by TSMC. The A14 chip is expected to bring both speed and efficiency improvements that could bring small gains in battery life to compensate for 5G, which uses additional battery. Apple has no plans to include a power adapter or earpods in the box with the iPhone 12 models, letting the company cut down on production costs and packaging. Instead, Apple may offer a 20W power adapter that can be purchased separately. The USB-C lightning cable could get an upgrade, though, with indicating Apple plans to offer a new braided cable design. Say, I hadn't heard of them until recently took a half to wait and see his accuracy, but I wouldn't worry too much for now. He also advises that the cameras can be different to the renters we've seen the light sensor on the iPhone 12 is can be much smaller than expected. It can be three larger lenses with the light sensor smaller in the bottom right corner. Now I'm being told that this camera information is actually correct. 
So my advice is can be to disregard for now you have to wait and see some of you may have also seen that John Prosser treated a few days ago, say that the iPhone 12 and the new iPads are to be launched in October instead of September. Now this is now unfortunately been confirmed by Apple, as well look on my street, who is Apple's chief financial officer stated, despite the sales of last year's new generation iPhone going on sale in September this year. The company project supplies can be available a few weeks later. Now no reason was given for this, but of course it's going to be down to the current outbreak. We've also had 9 to 5 Mac, forcing the iOS simulator to run at a resolution of 960x2079 and iOS 14, and it of course worked perfectly so. This further confirms that the smallest iPhone 12 is can be a 5.4 inch display note the shame I had to deliver mainly bad news today so to trying, and with some good people are saying there's not going to be an in display fingerprint scanner, but I've been told that there will be also. As I said in my previous video I would look into the disabled 120 years display, and it appears that the vast also falls many are claiming that the hardware is can be capable of 120 Hz, but applicant to disable it, and this just isn't true. I'm being told the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro still, it should not be a problem. So not to the upgrades the iPhone 12 is coming with improved cameras that was always to be expected last week, I told you guys in the periscope lens is not happening, is that and save it for next year's iPhone. This is iPhone 12 we still get some upgrades, Michiko advises that Apple moving to you, Samco and Sunny optical lenses, and they're introducing a voice, Coil Motors voice, and this is an improved stabilization, that uses magnets instead of the improve the autofocus as well. We had news of improved speeches, in the iPhone 12 which again. It was always likely, and this news comes from everything, Apple Pro and Max wing back. We don't get to see the speaker itself. We can in fact. They seem to have better performance, especially with the lower frequencies they provided. A clip of the iPhone 12 speaker playing at 50% volume will go ahead and listen to that now we will see what news of Gorilla Glass Victors, which is an exciting new strength in class. This will help protect your device's display many blogs, and now citing at this is part of the iPhone 12 design, but I'm being told that it's not probably the iPhone 12 is not. Adopting this new technology would likely get have to wait for the iPhone 13 finally, with some reports from Microtech are now these are based on quotes from multiple Chinese suppliers, and the saying the 5G iPhones will be postponed until November the launch, will still be in September as expected, and this can be for all four models for we normally, see the release a couple of weeks after Microtech are advising that the LT iPhone 12, can go on sale in mid octane of salt. For now, but as soon as I get some more information, and update you guys right away. Unfortunately, that's all the information I have today with all four models, launching on the second week of September. It's not going to be long until Apple confirm things themselves. We've already had pretty much the full specs for all four models, doesn't it? We got the same impression last year when Max Redberg, a Swedish graphic designer, created a concept illustration of how the new 5.4 inches size might look. The Mikado Kara report linked above also supports the existence of the new sizes. The site predicted some while ago that iPhones in 5.4 inches, 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches sizes would be launched in late 2020. The death of lightning it's a recurrent rumor, but will 2020 be the year Apple finally gives in and replaces its proprietary lightning port with USB-C, as it did on it not, since that was a special case fast data transfers to and from cameras being a requirement of many digital creatives and owners of lightning-based headphones and other accessories would be pretty ticked off and this is just can record the iPhone 12, is a 5.4-inch iPhone with lets to progress in the display, from Samsung is important to note straight, off the bat this to progress no means absolutely nothing. So don't get too caught up on that, but nonetheless, it can be an owner display with a resolution of 2348x1080. This gives us a 475 pixels per inch, and it's got an 8-bit color depth, with there have been rumors of almost having a 120Hz displays. Unfortunately, it appears that this model is only can be 60 Hz, is can be equipped with 4 gigs of RAM, and it can come with the choice of 128 or 256 storage, it's got an Armenian frame, and of course, is the Apple 814 Bionic chip with 5G support the iPhone 12, is coming with Joe cameras on the ray, and it will, of course, be shipping with iOS 14 for those that want the 4 gig of RAM, with 128 storage, is launching the price of $649, if you want to upgrade it to the 256 gig iPhone 12, and it's 750 50 next up with the iPhone 12 Max to be clear, this is the Max, and not the Pro Max the iPhone 12 Max has a 6.1 inch outlet display, this again is a Super Retina, it did not pass the quality assurance test it comes with a resolution of 2532, what by 1170, this gives us a 460 pixels per inch and again, 
It has an 8-bit color depth get 4 gigs of RAM choice of 128 or 256 storage, and of course the iPhone 12 Max is powered by the 14 Bionic chip is. Armenian frame 5G connectivity uses actual camera setup on the rare for those that want the 128GB iPhone 12 Max is going to be launching at a price of $749 for those that want the 2560 version, that in the price rises it to $849. Next up the iPhone 12 Pro, also has a 6.1 inch, display with actually the same size as the iPhone 12 Max, we do have an improved display in specs, the iPhone 12 Pro 61 inch Super Retina, owner display with promotion and 10 bit color depth display, is manufactured by Samsung, and has a resolution of 2532x1170, giving us 460 pixels open unconfirmed and there are few people, saying this may not happen, the iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM, and a choice of 128, 200 256 or even 512 gig storage. It of course ships with the Apple 14 Bionic chip, set the iPhone 12 Pro, is 5G compatible. It comes in a stainless steel frame, and on the rear we get a triple camera setup, along with the lighter sense of adapters, for the 128 gigs, iPhone 12 Pro it can be $999, for the 256 it's 1099, the 512 gig iPhone 12 Pro is can be $1299. Last but not least we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7 inch outlet display Again this is Super Retina display and hopefully with promotion get a 10 bit color depth and of course it is manufactured by Samsung to the resolution of 2778x1284 This gives us 458 pixels per inch Again, we expect and hope it's can be a 120Hz promotion display, but there are few 28 256 05 12 internal storage has got a stainless steel frame, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course powered by the 814 Bionic chipset. This does have 5G support just like the iPhone 12 Pro, we get three cameras in the rear, along with the lighter sensor, for those who want the 128GB iPhone 12 Pro Max, is can the launch at a price of $1,099, if you have the 25060 version. It's $1199 and for those that want the most expensive in the range, the 512 iPhone 12 Pro Max can be launching at a whopping $1399, and what is, of course, important to note that these pricing leaks came very early on from John Prosser, is provided plenty of accurate leaks, but also got some of them wrong. Recently he also provided this very early on. So there is a chance that things could change, but personally I think that there at least can be very close to what we see overwrote, the Apple iPhone 12, is proving to be a great range of iPhones, that many of you guys looking forward to is great. We've got all of this in this to have some surprises that launch while there may be delays in the release date the launch is expected to be on time, and that will, of course be 8 September this year, given the current outbreak it's likely that it's again going to be an online-only launch event, similar to the last worldwide developer conference as always, though, if any, more information comes to light. I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts, in the comments was excited for the iPhone 12 launch, and you think we'll get a 120Hz display, enabled in the software. Well have been said, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you.